Hey everybody, this is D Hunter, bringing another action figure review today. We're going to look at the McFarlane DC Multiverse, Batman, The Three Jokers, The Comedian, and this is the Entertainment Earth Gold Label Sketch Variation. I pre-ordered this thing and it finally arrived today. So let's take a look at the packaging. As you can see at the top, Sketch Edition, McFarlane Toys, as part of the Gold Label Collection. Gold Label figure is simply a retailer exclusive, whether it be Target or Walmart. This particular Gold Label is an Entertainment Earth exclusive. DC, Batman, The Three Jokers, The Joker, The Comedian, designed by Jason Fabok, authenticated, limited edition to 7,400 pieces. Here he is on the front. One side, The Joker, Comedian, other side, pretty blank. The back side, here he is, that big smile on his face. At the bottom, got a bunch of credits, and there is his barcode. This is one of McFarland's deluxe figures. Slide off the outer sleeve and expose the figure. So with no further ado, let's open him up. And I did end up getting two of these figures, one of which to open and enjoy, the other one to keep unopened in my complete Batman related unopened action figure collection. Here's the sketch version of the Comedian Joker, next to the standard color release. Alright, now that this figure out of the package, here he is with all his accessories laid out. He comes with a display stand, a collector's card, a display stand for his collector's card, then a camera and a crowbar, a couple of signature Joker weapons from The Killing Joke and A Death in the Family. But before we take a look at all that, Let's talk about and check out the actual figure. So this is Joker from the comic storyline, Batman Three Jokers, where three different people were acting as Joker at the same time, working together. Turns out Joker had been three people for quite a while. This particular version is a comedian, has a definite killing joke sort of feel to him. Hat, the camera, the trench coat, etc. It all looks very good. This, of course, is a sketch black and white version, which is a paint variant if you're into that sort of thing, which of course I am. The original release was a shared Walmart and GameStop exclusive. I think it's the only one that's been that kind of way. This one is an Entertainment Earth exclusive, and I know the other one is a very sought after rare figure, but this one is not a very good substitute. It wouldn't really good fill in for the other two and three Jokers. It just doesn't look right being the sketch version. Anyway, let's take a look. Starting with this head here. Looks good. Now the original one had some shading under the eye, kind of a shadow. This one here, it looks like a domino mask. It's so weird. It's not even dark all the way around. Then we have his gangster sort of hat. He's got the trench coat, collar popped up. I can see the white bow tie, the black shirt underneath. Some sort of shading here. It's black. Double jointed elbows, double jointed knees. These guys pretty much all share the same body on the three Jokers. Jokers. But it's a very solid release, looks good. I mean, look at that smile. It just screams the killing joke. The Joker in his most sort of sinister fashion. And I want to give a huge shout out to my boy Albert from Instagram. One of my subscribers made this Joker diorama for me. And I love it. I use it a lot. And a closer look at his face and head sculpt. He's just so sinister. Now for his accessories, starting off with the boring stuff. Here's the display stand. It's a typical McFarland stand. It's black, it's perfect circle, flat, basic, but this one says Batman 3 Jokers on the front, and that is a very nice touch. Then we have his collector's card and display stand. Here's a collector's card, black and white sketch version of the Comedian Joker. The Joker, the Comedian, sketch edition. The backside, certificate of authenticity. This is number 3,884 of 7,400. And here's the collector's card in its display stand. If you're into that sort of thing, you can display it this way. It doesn't really do much for me. Just gonna go into a huge tote of junk. Here's the sketch version of the comedian's collector's card on the left, next to the original version on the right. Now for his crowbar. Talk about a signature Joker weapon. His crowbar is done in white paint. It's got a little fork at the top. It's a little bit too large for them. McFarland has a problem by making the accessories too large sometimes, although they are getting better. Here's the Joker holding and getting ready to hit somebody with that crowbar. And now for his camera, another signature Joker accessory. The strap here, it's black, made of a rubbery material. It's got some give to it. The camera itself, you can see it's got a good amount of sculpting detail. The camera's white, lens is black. You can have the Joker holding the camera around his neck. You can also have him holding the camera. 
Now I wanted to check out the differences between the sketch version and the original version of the Comedian. Now, besides the obvious paint differences, there are absolutely no differences. Same sculpt, same articulation, same figure. So let's take a look. Start with their heads here. You can kind of see what I was talking about with this guy. He's got this sort of shadow in front of his eyes. And him, it looks like sunglasses or a dawn mask, kind of weird. The smile is fantastic on both of them. I prefer the one color, obviously, but they're both really cool versions. It's a paint variant that I do like. Interesting, sort of split down the middle there. Now, this is one of the best Joker figures out there. Now that we've taken a pretty good look at both the figure and his accessories, now for his height. From bottom to the very top of his hat, 7.2 inches tall, which can translate to just over 18 centimeters, and now for his articulation. Starting with his head, rotate from side to side. He can look up and down a very good amount, tilt his head from one side to the other. Shoulders, ball joint, goes about 90 degrees. Up, down, around, all that good stuff. Bicep cut below that. Double jointed elbows go all the way in. His wrist can rotate and is going to be hinged. In his torso, he has articulation, but most of it is going to be restricted by this coat here. So you can utilize the ball joint as waist, rotate him around, forward and back. Legs, they go out about that far. Coats obstructing a lot of it. McFarland style hip joints. Rotation is non existent. They go forward about that much. Double jointed knees. And then his ankle forward and back a little bit. Rotate a little bit. Tilt rock also just a little bit. And toe articulation. Here's the Joker in its base or lair. And here he is peeking around the corner with his camera. Then spraying his Tommy gun like a gangster. And here's the comedian version of the Joker doing his stand up routine. And here's Joker being admired by his Joker whores. Here's Joker as he committed that horrible act, shooting Barbara Gordon in the spine, crippling her, and turning her into Oracle. And here's a look at both versions of the comedian Joker, sketch and regular. Now let's check them out. Next is one of their action figures, starting off with some other sketch figures. Here are the two most recent sketch figures. These are both Entertainment Earth exclusives. We have the comedian Joker, and then the Todd McFarlane designed Batman. And here he is, next to the White Knight Batman Sketch Edition. And before that, they released a sketch edition of the Batman Who Laughs and the Rebirth Superman. Here's the Joker, next to the sketch version of the Page Puncher Mr. Freeze. This is a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Here's this Joker, next to the Page Puncher Batman and Black Adam. I think these are sketch figures, although they're more of a gray and black versus the black and white. And now, Next to the DC Direct sketch version of the New 52 Jim Lee Batman, here are all of the different sketch DC figures that I have. And here's this Joker, next to McFarlane's version of the sketch spawn. Now let's check him out, next to some other Batman 3 Joker's figures. Here's the sketch comedian, next to the original version. And here he is, next to all three of the Jokers from the 3 Joker storyline. Three Jokers? Add in the sketch? How about four? And you know what? Add in the Big Bad Toy Store exclusive black and white accent Joker. And then you got five of the three Jokers. And now, here he is next to the heroes from the Batman 3 Jokers toy line. We have Batgirl, Batman, and Red Hood. And of course, all three of those Bat family members got their own paint variants. Here's the entire Batman 3 Jokers collection. Every single figure has a variant here, except for the Clown Joker. I'm sure eventually he'll get one too. Here are all the different Joker figures they've made so far in the McFarland DC Multiverse line. The next one to come out is going to be the Deadly Duo Joker. I believe that one is a McFarland Toy Store exclusive. Now let's check him out. Next to some other recently released McFarland DC Multiverse figures. Here he is, next to the Target exclusive Flashpoint Wave, Collectibles Cyborg. And here he is, next to the Amazon exclusive Golden Dark figures. We have the Infected Batman, Titan Joker, Swamp Thing, and Jon Stewart Green Lantern. Then, next to some more Entertainment Earth exclusive figures. These are the Blacklight editions of the Serenar Batman and the Infinite Frontier Joker and Scarecrow. And now, next to the second wave of McFarlane Collector's Edition figures, 
both the regular and the platinum chase variants of Firestorm, Hawkman, and Sinestro. Here's this Joker, next to the Injustice 2, Superman, and Brainiac. There is a platinum chase version of Brainiac out there, and I'm on the hunt for him. If anybody has a lead where I can get one, please drop me a line in the comments below. Would appreciate it. And here he is, next to the Last Night on Earth, Batman vs. Omega 2-pack. Then, next to the Dark Knights of Steel Batman, and both versions of the Jim Gordon Batman. And now, next to the Batman Beyond vs. Just Lord Superman 2-pack. Here he is, next to both versions of the Santa Batman. And here he is, next to the Big Bad Toy Store exclusive, Black and White Accent Joker and Martian Manhunter. Then, with some more McFarlane Toy Store exclusive figures, we have the Patina variant of Superboy Prime and Merciless, then Interrogation Room Joker and Catman, and finally, next to the Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom movie wave. Now let's check them out, next to some action figures from different various companies, so we can see how he fits in, both scale and style-wise. In case you don't know which lines you can mix them with, since he's a McFarlane toy, they're typically the 7-inch scale. I'm going to start my comparisons with some of the larger action figure lines I collect, and work my smaller, and I'm going to include as many Joker figures as I can during these comparisons, since we already checked him out next to all the other McFarlane DC Multiverse Joker figures, here he is next to some more McFarlane toys. In front of you are five different action figure lines, all from McFarlane toys, all 7 inch scale. And now, here's this Joker next to a glow stick. Here's this Joker next to some Jack Pacific and some DST or Diamond Suck toys. And here he is next to some DC Direct and some NECA figures. Then, next to both some Mattel and some Jazz Warriors wrestling figures. And now, with some Mezco and some Mattel DC Joker figures. Then, with some Mafex and some Hasbro Marvel Legends. And finally, next to some SH figure arts and some Jazz Wars Fortnite figures. So overall, this is a pretty cool Joker figure, but is it necessary? I would say this variant, hell no, it's not necessary. The original Comedian Joker is one of the best Joker figures McFarlane has made. I love the trench coat and fedora hat look. Fantastic. But this sketch black and white version Definitely unnecessary, unless you're a completist like me, and you like the paint variations. His accessories are cool, but once again, done in that black and white style, not very useful with the rest of your action figures. His articulation is good, but a little bit limited because of the coat. Sculpt and paint job are excellent, I don't see any issues there. If I were to rate this figure, I'm probably going to give him a 6 out of 10. It's just not something anybody really needs, a black and white version of this figure they already released. So this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked the video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say about the video, add to the comment section. If you want to see additional action figure reviews from me, press subscribe. I do appreciate when you do that. Once again, this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I will talk to you guys real soon.